Hey everyone, this is Robin Stewart coming to you from College Coach. We hope you're enjoying our financial aid application tip videos, and I would encourage everyone to check out my good friend and colleague Shannon Vasconcellos' post right here on our Facebook page on Wednesdays where she talks about the FAFSA. Today I'm going to be looking at the number in household and the number in college on the profile, two important pieces of the puzzle when calculating eligibility for need-based aid. With the number in household, students are asked to report anyone who lives with them, any siblings or any other family members that also receive more than 50% of their financial support from the student's parents. If you are a parent of a graduate student, you may include the graduate student in this number if you truly pay more than 50% of their support. Now, once the household's determined, the application will ask you some questions about these individuals to see what their plans are for the next year. Are they going to be enrolled in college for the next academic year? And this is a game changer for some families because the expected family contribution, when you have two students or more headed off to college, will be divided. So, for example, if you have two students, student A and student B, the EFC will be split 60-40. Now, if both of those students go to schools that have very different cost of attendance, there may be a different split used by the schools to determine what your expected family contribution would be. If you're the parent of a graduate student, it is likely the schools are not going to allow a graduate student to be considered in this number because graduate students are able to file independently for financial aid on the federal level. If you do pay more than 50% of the student support though, I would encourage you to contact the school to appeal this particular situation. That's all I have for today. I look forward to seeing you next week when I take a look at some of those questions that you have to estimate when filling out the profile. Thanks for listening.